the locusts migrate over long distances, eating all vegetation on its way. The life cycle of locusts includes two phases, solitary and gregarious. And if at the first phase the danger as a pest is relatively small, then when the unit in flux, everything changes significantly. A huge swarm of locusts can ultimately harm vegetation on a fifth part of the planet's land, which is one way or another will affect every teeth inhabitant of the Earth. Wow! Locusts are a serious threat to food security at the global level. Locusts as a species belong to a large group of insects, which are commonly called grasshoppers. Moreover, it differs significantly from the latter, in particular, it can change its behavior and habits, as well as the ability to migrate over long distances. Locusts are capable of uniting in dense and highly mobile swarms, which under favorable wind conditions can cover distances of up to 150 km per day. To demonstrate the locust's gluttony, we will throw a spring of dill into the insectarium. As you can see, insects pounced on food almost immediately, absorbing it at great speed. Just as quickly, locusts devour vegetation over large areas, turning fields into desert. By the way, the size of a locust swarm in area can range from one square kilometer to over a thousand square kilometers. So far, the praying mantis does not seem to be fully aware of the conditions in which it finds itself, but just in case it is shown extreme caution. Moreover, the size of the locust is almost identical to the size of the praying mantis. After a few seconds, the mantis tried to flee, but in vain. From the outside, the predator behaves clearly strangely. At some point, he still managed to get on his feet normally. And all this under the gaze of a swarm of hungry locusts. And while you watch what is happening in the insectarium, we will tell you some more interesting facts about locusts. As mentioned earlier, swarms of the locusts can cover an area that is tens and hundreds of square kilometers. Moreover, in each square kilometer of the flock, there are about 40 or 80 million adult insects. During the day, each individual can eat as much plant food as it weighs itself. Locusts attack pose a serious threat to food security in the affected regions. Remediation can take several years and hundreds of millions of dollars depending on the size of the pack. Locusts, as a species of insects, live in 30 countries. During migration and mass distribution, it can be found in 60 countries. A small swarm of locusts on one square kilometer eats about the same amount of food per day as 35,000 people. Given the scale of the harm, humanity is actively fighting locusts, because if you leave everything to chance, then the consequences can be the most catastrophic, right up to hunger. There will also be a massive reduction in the number of cattle and small ruminants, which in the complex will affect both people in the disaster area and beyond, depending on the scale of the disaster. Locust control is ongoing with varying success. Due to a number of factors, this process is greatly complicated. Locust swarms in particular tend to prefer remote and inaccessible locations. Sometimes they are formed in conflict zones, which makes it impossible for human intervention, as if there is a serious threat to the life and health of people. Problems also arise when a swarm of locusts spreads across the border area of the several countries at once. In this case, they have a quickly established effective communication and develop a joint plan to combat the tree, which is often delayed due to the peculiarities of diplomatic procedures and relationships between the affected states. 
The situation is compounded by the fact that some areas at risk are located in developing countries. As a result, they cannot afford to allocate from the budgets of science funds to create an effective system for monitoring the spread of locusts and methods of countering this insect species, although they must do so. Now that you know a lot more about this extremely dangerous pest, let's return to our experiment. During this time the praying mantis quite well got used to the new environment. Moreover, he even started hunting. True, having seized one locust from the flock, later for some reason he released it. The movements of the praying mantis are also quite surprising. Usually he does not behave like that. After the praying mantis released its prey, it continued to watch it. The failed victim slowly steps back. It seems as if she is hypnotizing the praying mantis. A little more time passes and the praying mantis finds the ideal hiding place. A little more time passes and the praying mantis finds the ideal hiding place for hunting. It practically merged with the deal week, becoming completely invisible. It remains to check whether he will attack locusts. As you can see, the answer was not long in coming. True, at the next attempt to attack the locust, the mantis himself was frightening of it. Why it happens? We have not yet been able to find an explanation for this. If you know why the praying mantis was scared of the locusts, write about it in the comments. A few minutes later, the mantis still managed to catch the locusts. This time, he firmly holds the insect and is definitely not going to let the prey go. Locusts, in turn, are trying to escape. At this time, the praying mantis begins to bite into the insect's head in order to immobilize the locust in this way. The latter could try to defend with the help of its powerful jaws, with which it would easily bite the paws of the praying mantis. But for some reason, the locusts do not use this chance to escape. Can praying mantises provide serious help to people in the fight against locusts? Objectively speaking, hardly ever. Praying mantises cope with single locust individuals, but when a flock arrives in which tens or even hundreds of millions of adult insects, they will not be able to oppose anything to it. While the praying mantis finished eating its prey, other locust specimen watched closely. One of them even raised its paws. But we could not understand what this means. After such a hunt, the mantis will be full for several days. By the way, locusts have recently become quite popular leaf food, and you can easily find them in pet stores. Usually locusts are fed to reptile and frogs. Moreover, in some countries even people eat locusts. Personally, we would not try such a delicacy. A little later, one locust from the flock tried to scare the praying mantis away. It looked strange enough. Maybe in this way the locust tried to protect its fellows. Its wing movements also look quite unusual. If you have any guesses about this, be sure to write it in the comments. Ah, we also have the idea that it would be nice to do another experiment with locusts, but with a larger flock of 100 individuals. For example, you can check how long it takes a hundred hungry locusts to completely eat a cucumber or, let's say, a swig of dill. If you are also interested to see this, then write the word WONK in the comments. Also be sure to indicate in the comments what you think it would be interesting to feed a hundred hungry locusts. It is not worthy that even when left with half a head, the locust still did not lose the ability to move. It was difficult for the praying mantis to keep her, but he tried his best. Oof, that's all for today. If you were interested, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share videos with your friends and press the bell 
so as not to miss new episodes about the life of wildlife. It was Mad Science Channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.